Hey everybody, it's your girl Nothing's Impossible, 77, straight out of Brooklyn. Um, just coming through really quickly to say hi to everyone and to talk to you about something that I spoke to a dear friend of mine about recently. And while we were talking, of course, in the back of my mind, I'm like, this is a video. I'm going to, you know, get on YouTube and talk to my subscribers about this. Basically, what we were talking about is life. And I think everyone that's listening to my, the sound of my voice has an experience and knows somewhat about life. Uh, the, the, the basis of what we spoke about is that life has a way of sort of being like a, 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 a huge university slash, you know, just school, you know. Um, and life will throw you a couple of lessons and if you don't get those lessons and you flunk, basically, it's just like school. You will have to repeat those classes, those experiences over and over again until you get it. You know, this is what my experience has been with life. Now, when, it, when the situations come around, they don't necessarily come around the same way. Sort of like you don't have the same professor, the same teacher. And you know, like you could have taken the same subject, but you had different teachers so they had a different method of teaching you however the course was the same and the basis of the course was that you had to pass and that's what happens with life you flunk one situation and here it comes in a completely different way but basically it's the same lesson and until you really get that lesson you will have to experience it over and over again until you get it And that doesn't necessarily mean that as you proceed in life, the experience will not present itself to you again. However, you will quickly identify that you have been there, done that, and sort of know how to get through it. It's sort of like you have a cheat sheet to the situation. You know, some folks have certain, certain exams, like they do their commercial driver's license and so forth, and then they... You know, they have a cheat sheet. I've heard of people having cheat sheets on how to pass classes. Well, that's what happens in life. When you've passed a situation in life and it presents itself to you again, you have a cheat sheet. And you're like, oh, I've been there, done that. I can get through this. And I can tell you, life does not discriminate and it does not hold any punches. You have to go through what you have to go through. And some folks will go through the same thing over and over and over again and not get it. The other thing I spoke to my friend about was fertilizing your mind. You know, someone came to my home uh, about six or seven months ago with a plant. This plant was so dead, practically. It only had a couple of leaves. And basically, they were going to throw it away. And I was like, no, give it to me there was a little bit of life in it. It wasn't completely dead. And when I look at that plant today, I am so amazed because I took care of it. I watered it. I, I talked to it every day. You know, I went away and when I came back after a few, you know, a while or a little over a week, I could see it was holding on for me. It was like, oh, you know, because plants are living things. And I said, oh, I'm home. And, you know, people laugh and say, oh, you're talking to a plant, but you should see that plant. And that is how our minds are. We have to fertile, keep our minds fertile. Fertilize our minds, basically. You know, how do you fertilize your mind? You put good things in your life. You know, you think good things. You, you discard the, the, the negative thoughts. And, you know, they will come, but you have to quickly learn how to reject them. Negative thoughts will come at you from every angle, but you have to reject them. You understand? And you also have to sort of keep negative people out of your life. You know, there are people that you may have gone to high school with or gone to, you know, middle school with or gone to, you know, some level of school with, uh, just basically people that you've known for years. That's what I'm really trying to say. And those people are at the same place they were when you knew them back then. I call those people mental midgets. Their bodies are growing, but their minds are in the midget state, a midget, you know, form. 
Their, their minds are, are not growing. They're mental midgets. You know? And you have to take care of yourself. And somehow, some way, life will respect that you respect it. You know, am I saying that there's some miraculous way to bypass problems and that nothing bad will happen? No, I am not saying that. But what I am saying is respect life. I've been through so much in my life. And all that I've been through has brought me right where I am right now, right now. And I am so grateful for every failed relationship that I've ever had, every failed situation that I've ever had, every trial that I've ever had, because those were courses that I had to pass. And just like going to school, you don't like it, you don't want to study, you hate this course, why do I have to have this curriculum? Well, life is a great big curriculum that you're just going to have to deal with. And that's what I told her. And that's what I'm here to tell you today. You know, respect the life that you've been given. Because life is precious. And we realize how precious it is when we lose someone that we love. When they're snatched away from you unexpectedly. I've had a few people snatched away from me. You guys have heard me talk about the death of my husband that was unexpected. And... Somehow, when someone that you love loses their life, you have a completely different viewpoint about life. You know? I'm just grateful today. I'm grateful for where I am. And as I said, I'm grateful for everything that I've ever been through. And I'm grateful for you guys. And I'm grateful for this forum so that, you know, I'm able to come and share stuff with you. I tell you guys over and over again, I wish I had YouTube when I was younger. Because I'm telling you, you know, they have an old adage that says, when the, stu when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. When you have passed the courses that you need to pass in life, then you will come get elevated and elevated and elevated and you can help someone else. But more than anything else you will acquire a peace of mind that is priceless. I'm telling you, it's priceless. Anyway, guys, I, lo guys, I love you all for free. And um, we'll talk again real soon. Um, that's it. I enjoy reading your comments. Something with this Google Plus stuff. I'm not getting a lot of comments. You know, and y'all don't like my video anymore. I don't really, you know what? Like it if you want to like it. I would like for you to like it, but if you ain't got time, all right, whatever. Just, just listen to what I have to say and take my message in. That means more to me than anything else. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. Peace and love. Leave.